Hey everyone, my name is Zach Mueller. And I'm Kristen Gerhardt. And welcome back once again to Expose 2013 edition. It's a brand new first, year. First of 52. First episode. 52. We got 50, 51 more, so. It's, they're coming. Look forward to that. Yes. Intro. <laughs> Once again, we want to thank you for coming back. Kristen's going to do the news. I go over here. It's the same thing as last year, more or less. Pretty much, It's pretty much the same thing. One quick add-on. At the end of this video, we are going to announce the winners to the Theory 11 Holiday Contest. All of the amazing prizes. We're going to tell you who won. So you may be one of those people, so be sure to stick around. If you saw the length of this video and you were like, nah, not today, rethink that decision. Here's Kristen. Today, Justin Flom will visit the Ellen DeGeneres show. That's the second Justin magician on Ellen. And by today, I mean it's it's tomorrow for me, but it's today for you guys. So we don't have any clips for you yet. You guys don't think Justin Bieber is magical? G4 will show a clip of Lance Burton facing off with The Hoff on Knight Rider, 9 a.m. Eastern Time tomorrow. 9 a.m.? I don't know why it's 9 a.m. It's like, oh, I'm going to get up. And then I am to watch it. You should too. It's pretty awesome. An incredible story about Apollo Robbins entitled A Pickpocket's Tale was recently put out by The New Yorker, and everyone should absolutely read it. It's incredible. Additionally, Robbins was also featured on the front page of The Huffington Post this past Wednesday. So he's having like a really, really good week. Another installment of Sleight of Mouth, hosted by Justin Willman, will be held at the Nerd Melt Theater on Tuesday, January 8th. This installment will feature Casey Wilson, Brett Loudermilk, Bushwala. I love that name. And, and also a very special surprise guest. So to purchase your tickets, you can follow the link provided, visit Nerd Melt online, look up Sleight of Mouth, get your tickets, go see Brett Loudermilk, Swallow some swords. And what do you want? Thank you all for writing to me and to Zach and to all of us here at Theory 11. We really appreciate your emails and your feedback. Keep it coming. We love hearing from you guys and talking with you. So, Happy New Year, and I'm out. I'm, I'm gonna go get better. Hey guys, on The Wire this week, we have two amazing free downloads, starting off with Snow Globe by Connor O'Kane, which is a beautiful, really awesomely flowing flourish that is completely free. You can learn it right now, and the trailer looks like this. The other free download is a rubber band through wrist effect inspired by Pongo called Hydra. Looks like this. In our media section this week, we posted an amazing video by magician David Kwong. In this video, he performs an effect in which he creates a crossword puzzle based on words that people in the audience just yell out, and he just makes a crossword puzzle impromptu. And the kicker at the end, I will not spoil, but it's worth watching the whole video just for that. Here's a look. American crosswords follow certain rules. For example, uh, the black squares have to be placed symmetrically. We don't allow two letter words in American crosswords because they're kind of boring. And we don't allow too many black squares. We don't like clumps. It's quite a challenge to create a crossword following all these rules using good vocabulary. David has constructed a crossword in front of you using words and names that you've suggested and he's able to do this in just a matter of a few minutes and then as the kicker there is a bonus answer revealed in the puzzle and that's what blows people away also in the media section is a badass hp commercial featuring our very own dan white it looks like this a street magician whose hands see more than the eye so sharing the impossible becomes possible Because having everything you care about at your fingertips matters. You know, lots of people these days are calling themselves street magicians, but you ain't no street magician until you have your own one hour street magic special featured on the Discovery Channel. Get called a street magician in an HP laptop commercial and have the username CoolStreetMagic98 on YouTube. That last one, it doesn't apply at all. Very quickly, I want to give my own personal wish to Andre Dick to have an awesome, awesome 32nd birthday. It's his birthday today, so happy birthday, Andre. Michael, take it away. What's up, guys? Happy Friday. Welcome back to Expose. 
I have a lot to cover this week, so I'll try to get by as quickly as possible. Uh, but first off, today is our VP of production, Andre Jake's 32nd birthday. Please wish him a happy birthday if you're friends with him on Facebook. I know he would appreciate it a lot. Next up, I'm going to read the names of the winners of this year's holiday contest. I have the winners right here. They are randomly selected, and I'm going to read off the first names and the city in which they live. And based on the information, if you feel you're one of the winner, you will have received an email with a confirmation and further instructions on how to claim your prize. So listen carefully. I'm gonna go through um, the first winners are the 10 winners of the Elite Membership. That's 10,000 points, plus a uh, steel card with your name on it. Um, really cool. And uh, I'm just gonna go through here. The first winner is William in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Second is Dimitri in Israel. There's Dale in Claymont, Delaware. Ryan in Suwannee, Georgia. Lolita in Tokyo, Japan. Steve in Hampstead, Maryland. Bernd in Gerlingen, Germany. Gerlingen, maybe? Sorry, Bernd. <laughs> Shari in Los Angeles, California. Alexander in Girona, Spain. And Brian in Arcadia, California. Those are the 10 winners of the Elite Membership. That's 10,000 points, and these are all randomly selected. The next prize is the Guild of Artisans. This is 144 decks, a year's worth of artisans, uh, shipped to your house for free. This is an incredible prize. The winner, without further ado, of the year's worth of artisans is Whitney in Tacoma, Washington. Whitney, you've won yourself a lot of artisans. The next one is the wire production kit. You got a brand new camera, a lens. This is all you need to start uh, filming effects on the wire. Pretty epic prize here. The winner of the wire production kit is Raymond in Beaufort, South Carolina. Now the next prize is the Ultimate Card Collection. This is a deck of anything we have sitting in the warehouse. And believe me, we have a lot of random decks in the warehouse. Ones that I even forgot that we had sold in the past. Um, this is gonna be a pretty awesome prize if I do say so myself. <clears throat> the winner of the Ultimate Card Collection is Allen in Tucson, Arizona. Now the last prize is the code, which is a $500 gift certificate to Theory 11. You can buy anything, cards, DVDs, anything in our store. This is epic. Um, and the winner of the code is Zagan in Bradford, United Kingdom. And uh, those are the winners of the holiday contest in 2012. If you feel, based on this information that I just read, that you're one of the winners, check your email, the one that you registered with, and you will get an email confirmation within the hour on uh, details on how to claim your prize. Congrats to the winners, and thank you to all who participated in this year's contest. Uh, that's all I have for you guys this week. Hope you have an excellent New Year's, and uh, I will see you guys next time. Adios. Once again, we want to thank you all for watching. On behalf of myself, Kristen, Andre, Michael, the rest of the Theory 11 team for 2013, kind of rhymed in my bit. dreams. Freestyle rap, I'm so supreme. Like my hat on my head, it's, uh, it's, it's uh, well-esteemed. We'll see you next Friday.